Hi everyone, Sean Zinsmeister here from the ThoughtSpot product team and welcome to our fourth and final installment of our ThoughtSpot plus Google Cloud product series. This time our spotlight is on our ThoughtSpot plus Looker integration and integration with Looker Modeler. The integration with Looker Modeler lets you take full advantage of all the work that you've already done with LookML to build those trusted models and metrics that you can then scale out to the rest of the business. So what you can do now is query your Looker models directly with ThoughtSpot. So you, there's no need to migrate existing models to another tool. It saves you a lot of that work. And now you can actually then give more people access via ThoughtSpot to those models and technical users, uh, those who are more working with data modeling day in and day out, will be happy to see if they can continue their investment in Looker as well and continue to build that out there and just scale it out to even more users. So this is an explorer. This is the starting point for all queries in Looker. This is also equivalent to a semantic model or what you might have called a worksheet in ThoughtSpot. So we're gonna be querying these explorers directly with ThoughtSpot. So here in our example, all of our joins and metrics have been defined here in our Looker Explorer in this example. And what we're gonna do is then build this connection in ThoughtSpot. So I'm gonna go over to my data workspace and I already have a connection that's been created but you'll see if I went to go create a brand new connection, Looker would be available uh, among the other great connections that we have in ThoughtSpot. Just select it, uh, and then you'll be taken through our three-step workflow. To save some time, let me walk you through an existing connection that we've already built. Here's our Looker demo connection, uh, and you can see the values that we've already linked uh, to this connection. So let's start by going through the process uh, and how we built this connection. The process to build the connection and connect to Looker is three steps. So first, you'll select Looker from the table here. Then we'll go ahead and update the connection details like you can see I've already pre-populated here on the left. Once that's been established, it's gonna go ahead and retrieve a list of the tables that we have available via the Looker connector. Here we're gonna be using the Look Stable example. And you can see that I've already linked to all the values in our inventory items, as well as the values for our order items. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these to build out a worksheet that all of our users are gonna be able to consume in ThoughtSpot. Let's go ahead and cancel this. And let's go to our worksheet builder so you can see how this was created. So here you can see uh, we've inherited the column names that we've gotten. So we inherit that metadata from Looker and we've made this available in an easy to consume worksheet. So this will allow the user a controlled mechanism so I can consume this layer in ThoughtSpot, this semantic model that you see here on the screen, but query Looker directly. So it's keeping uh, the LookML model um, all tight and governed. So I have that experience. The data team will really appreciate. All right, so now that I have this, let me show you what it looks like to go ahead and build my first query in ThoughtSpot. So this is our query builder. Uh, so I'll use an example here where we'll just say we want to use our keyword search to look at sales by date and look at this broken down by product category. Click go. ThoughtSpot will then push the query to Looker, which will then unpack and then push that query to the data cloud. See that happened pretty quickly. And now I can use ThoughtSpot's interactivity uh, to really go explore this even further. So for example, I can drill down here by product brand. Even when I drill, I'm executing a search or a query. And so that's, again, being able to push against the Looker model, even if I am just drilling, which is a drill is nothing more than a search with a click. And I can also take advantage by using some of the uh, native keywords in ThoughtSpot uh, to tighten my analysis. So here we can see I was able to drill down on that spike, and here's the top five product categories that, and by brand that are actually driving up those sales. But because there are many styles to BI, uh, we've also enabled the use of Sage, our generative AI and natural language experience for you to be able to ask these questions in natural language. So if I wanted to say, what are our best performing products in Australia? can ask the question in natural language. 
Sage, our generative AI, will then break it down uh, and associate it with the domain-specific language, the DSL, which are the keywords here. This is what's unique to ThoughtSpot to build trust and transparency. And you can see it's giving me the top uh, product names and filtered by Australia. So I have all these available. I can then pin this uh, to a live board uh, and be on my way. And again, you can see here the order items worksheet. I'm still consuming this. I'm now just using this by uh, using Sage. Uh, and if we skip over uh, again, go ahead and refresh this. You can see the last couple queries uh, that we went ahead and ran. There you go. So that's it. That's the ThoughtSpot Plus Looker and LookML integration. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, please reach out to your ThoughtSpot account manager if you are interested in this integration. It's been great to work with the Looker team uh, and a lot more to come uh, on the roadmap. So stay tuned uh, for more. Thanks so much.